Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna wait here and let. What? Oh, I'm gonna let Kier. Let, 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 let me help you with that. <laughs> I I hold open the door. Does this body have any blood in it? It it must. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Gregor really is strong. <laughs> you know what? I, I uh, all right, let's shove this crap in here <clears throat> and get us a key. Uh, all right, buddy. Your extends his hand. Shake it. We've sweated together. We are now brothers, as far as I understand. Works <laughs> for me, brother. I'm gonna drag this body over here and do some examination. I toss the. Fancy pants metal in. Alright, buddy. Uh, do your thing. Make me a key. Top, top. Light, light flares from in the furnace. You're driven back by a god of flames. Whoa! Alright, watch out. Master is, you know, susceptible to fire. Or not, if I'm not. <laughs> Whatever. <clears throat> <sighs> I dust off my hands. And go see what Marcus is up to. Um, I am trying to discern how much blood there is left in this body. I'm also trying to discern whether or not he's a spellcaster. Or was a spellcaster. The creature is spirit folk. You don't believe you can discern any human magic from it. Well, that's good, because I'm starting to get bored of human magic. I begin to drain the body's blood. Into what? Uh, into one of these... Giant, empty, like, two-liter wine bottles I have. Marcus, what are you doing? Oh, we're just gathering materials. For later. Uh-huh. <laughs> Care to explain any further than that? Anything better than as vague as you can be? <laughs> oh, yes, I can drink his blood to learn his spells. Oh. And you thought that would be a good idea. Why? Oh, well, Drink the blood of a corrupted creature? I wasn't gonna do it, that... Ash. I was gonna wait until we were out of the prison. This is... A... No, no, the problem isn't... The problem isn't with you drinking the blood in the prison. The problem is drinking the blood of a creature that has been corrupted by an ancient spirit. Mm -hmm. Or just in general. Drinking blood. Mm -hmm. I idly grab a uh, notebook from my satchel and flip through it. Pausing at a page. One pint? You have to drink a pint of the creature's blood? A whole pint of his blood? Huh. You'd think that I would have read this a little bit more carefully. I don't know. Don't drink its blood, Marcus. Don't. Well, I already have... Don't. At least one pint. Don't. Might as well get two. Okay, fine. I'll leave it at that. Uh. I disconnect the rubber tubing and uh, put a stopper into the bottle, slipping it into my in, into my satchel. Don't. I wink at Ash. The fire dies down. You hear a whisper from inside. It is done, Master. Uh, hey, Marcus, you want to reach into that hot furnace and grab the key? I do so. The furnace, now full of partially burning devious end tables, would have been uh dangerous. <laughs> To navigate for anyone but Marcus, whose fire resistance easily allows him to pass through. And acid resistance. I grab the key. <laughs> it is a burning hot. Everyone notices. Marcus holds it with a smile. Three out of four keys then, huh? So. Anyone else have any ideas for these uh, two bars of other thing? Because I've got lots of ideas. Well, I've always wanted a suit of armor. Do you have any good ideas, Q? Oh, so many. Uh, All right, list, list them off. Well, uh, normally I'd go through an entire song and dance about how I was going to create just, some Just sort tell of... me the good ideas. Okay. F -f -f plain and simple. Yeah. Um, I was actually planning on using this to reconstitute that golem that we came across a little while ago. And that is a fantastic idea. Right? What? I thought so. How? How can you do that? What do you mean? Hold Have a good idea? There. I can do that sometimes when I decide to. Huh. That's why it's good to keep a good idea list and a bad idea list. It really helps you filter out what's good and what's bad, Man. and what you say just to make Ash yell a little bit. I I wish I had somewhere to write that down. That's a good idea. I give Grigor a piece of paper. I just stick it in my pocket. <laughs> well, well, I, mm. I, is there gonna be any left over for a glaive? Grigor, you all, you just got a really nice glaive. This is the I'm same going... glaive. 
Yeah, but it's it's. I just don't want to rule out the possibility of another glyph. Another glyph. We'll see if there's Green enough. Big Ash. Yeah, if, if there's enough left over, then sure. But but right now, the most important part is getting getting another um key. It's probably in the acid, or rather the acid. Oh, it's which is. Oh, it's definitely in the acid. Very likely in the acid. It's totally in the acid. Okay, here's a question. Do we need the golem? Yes. I stare at Marcus. I roll up my I roll up my sleeves. Marcus, remember, magic current being run through the acid can't disable the current. I know, I know. But I just wanted to seem cool. I, I motion towards uh I motion towards your ankle. You're already not in tip top shape. Don't go losing yeah. an arm on us. Ankles, ankles, I can get a new one. I'm sure you can. We can forge a new one. <laughs> uh Let's no. not. Let's not. Okay, so, Kier, hmm? do we need to bring the golem in here for you to you to fix it up, or can we just... What, you mean you guys didn't immediately Look take notes on the on exact size line. and shape of the missing golem parts, filling in the gaps? Come on, this is basic stuff. No, I, I didn't have anything to write Kier, on. I didn't. All I was all I was asking if was if the golem needs to be in the furnace. Kier jams three papers in your face. I slap them to the ground. Oh, Just come on. Tell that me. is exactly what you need. See, this is one exactly with the arm specifications we need. This is one with the leg specifications, and this is one where I replaced one of the arms with a buzzsaw. I ripped the third one in half. Why? <laughs> we can do this later. There is a lot of wood in this dungeon. A buzzsaw would be very useful. You guys just, like, carry books of paper with you? Craig, it. All right, buddy. We're going to need some more stuff. How you doing in there? Okay, Gregor, I'm going to need you roughly to translate all this technical mumbo-jumbo to that <laughs> creature, and I need you to be as accurate as possible. Okay, I can do that. Uh, really quick, Marcus. Mm -hmm. Are you capable of perhaps, um, I don't know how magic works exactly, I'm not too familiar with it. Are you per perhaps capable of emulating somebody's voice? Well, I don't believe I have that in my repertoire right now, no. Here gives you a thumbs up. Trust, trust me and Gregor, we've bonded. Yeah. Huh. Uh, Brother. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's forge some yeah. stuff. Toss the ingots into the, the furnace. Gear launches into a complex explanation of all the moving parts of the golem's arm. Gregor repeats them. Maybe. <laughs> uh, the flames build for a moment, and an arm is produced deep within the belly of the forge. I pick Marcus up and shove him into the forge. <laughs> Rude. Uh, I crawl back so, and retrieve the uh, golem bits. This is what I've been missing with other people. This is like an assembly line of production. This is absolutely phenomenal. This is pretty going pretty smoothly. He pulls out an arm. It looks like an arm capable it's of got grabbing things. It is, even though it's all out of one material. It is got stripes. It is fantastically muscular as well. <laughs> <laughs> I, a I asked for racing stripes along it, but it just, it did like horizontal stripes. It's okay. It's okay, Gregor. I think it looks fantastic. It's, this is the first good. product of our collective work together. Cherish it, everyone. Cherish this arm. Also, don't touch it. It's burning hot. No. <laughs> and oh. now I believe it was also missing a leg, so shall we? Yeah. Yes. But, I mean, it's already got a leg. It needs another. Marcus only has one leg, and he's doing just fine moving around. I have two legs. One of my ankles has a hole in it. You repeat the process for the golem's leg. I kind of place my glaive of soothingness against Marcus's back. Oh, he's not paying attention. No. So I believe we have all of the golem bits now. Leg's done. Great. All right. Now let's wait until they're cooled off. Uh... The key to progress is moving as quickly as possible. Why not just let Marcus carry him? I raise my eyebrows and glance at Kier, my mouth half open. What? Uh... Yeah, sure, let me just carry all of these. I kind of gather up the uh, two arms and look. All of these, uh, you know, highly specialized golem parts just gonna walk down this hall and I'll fall flat on my face. <laughs> You've got three legs now, Marcus. Why are you falling over? <laughs> look. <sighs> Do you have any sort of, any sort of heat resistant anything on you? If you or Gregor could carry it, it would be much appreciated. I don't think Marcus is in much condition to carry anything right now. Hands full. No, hold up. Wait. Oh, I can do this. Watch, everyone. Look. As Marcus 
mystically becomes able to, I kind of ball myself up around all of the limbs and begin rolling around on the floor. Wow. <laughs> Look at this. A clang, new spell. Clang, clang. A new spell <laughs> that even I, even I had never thought of yet. Oh, oh. I grab Marcus. I grab Marcus as he rolls past. You're an actual Marcus still. See, this is roughly what I was thinking of. He holds them, we hold him. Uh. I mean, I made my cloak as fire and explosion resistant as possible due to the uh, occupational hazards of being a brilliant... Of being cure. Yes. Being a brilliant cure. <laughs> yes. All right. But uh, personally, I wouldn't prefer to take my cloak off. You know... The occupational hazards remain, even if the cloak goes away. So I think we should li just lift up Marcus now. Yeah, I like that idea. That's all right, fine. But first, before we leave, I do want to give this creature a proper burial. You're absolutely sure you don't want me to use my brand new spell right here. <laughs> clang, clang, Here, I thought you were holding on to him. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was too. He's only slippery. <laughs> Gregor. Hmm? Can you communicate to your uh, to your coal friend that he's got I would a like name, this creature, buddy? Though that is hey, buddy, his actual name. Yes. Communicate to him that I would like this creature properly incinerated. Yeah. Burn this thing. <laughs> Black gouts of smoke erupt from the forge. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> Are you happy now, Marcus? I clap. Hooray. I still feel like you're patronizing me. <laughs> I pick Marcus up. It's just kind of general general patronizing now, Ash. It's by no means aimed at you specifically. You don't seem to... There is, there's a hole through my ankle. You don't seem too happy about that. Marcus, frankly, I'm impressed that you can patronize from a fetal position. Held aloft. <laughs> Kier, why did we bring you along again? For my natural expertise, the fact that, um... The more I think about it, I do believe I'm bringing you folk along. You know, that's not a bad point. And now that I think about it, you are the only other one who understands the predicament of the devious end tables. I'm sorry, I'm in a little bit of a crabby mood right now. Uh, Gregor, would you please? Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, and I understand that everybody's got their pants in a pinch, but please, can we keep it quiet while going through this, uh, Minions. this corridor? Minions! Silence! Pants in a pinch? Are you serious? What? It's a saying. Is it? It's a real saying. Is it? Do people say that? <laughs> Kier quietly injects something into Marcus's lower back. Uh, Kier, what was that there? That feel? Oh, what was that, that feeling? Huh? What was what? that feeling of a needle entering my kidney there? Oh no, that was me grabbing your butt. Oh, you... okay then. We all stop and stare at Kier. <laughs> Just well, waiting with my back right, against then. the door. Gregor, check for the creature. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Marcus, Marcus begins to feel the uh, the powers of the polypurpose panacea moving through his body. Um. So what is this supposed to accomplish, Kier? Well, it's supposed to numb the pain, make you happier, and hallucinate mildly. Huh. No, I'm just kidding about that last one. Uh, Unless you believe I was serious hard enough. Then you hallucinate anyway. I close my eyes and believe. I, I begin <laughs> gritting my teeth. The sound is nearly audible. <laughs> okay, do you see the creature? It looks like the coast is clear. Go, 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 go. All right, let's uh, scuttle. All right, Golem. Hey, pal. I, I carefully set Marcus down in front of the Golem. Ugh. Well, let's see. This is not unlike a toy that I had as a child. Marcus, let Kier do it. <laughs> Fine. Gregor, Fine. this is just as much your child uh, as mine. Here, uh, if you would do the honor of attaching this gigantic muscly arm. All right. I take very great care not to attach it on the wrong side. The golem is now equipped with one fantastically large muscly arm, one leg that came pre-attached, and one gigantic zebra stripe leg. Perfect. You know, I feel a little proud. Absolutely perfect. We made this. Yeah. This is the beauty of technology. This is the beauty of science. This is the beauty of the human form. Vaguely understood and replicated by a creature that lives in a furnace. Kier crosses his arms and nods at the beauty. That was poetry. <laughs> Alright, that's good. We can we can admire it. We can admire it later. Let's just get this key and get out of here. Look at that, Ash. We almost made life. Wow. Yeah, wow. Amazing. Very. Okay, now, uh, Gregor, if you could help me with performing the next part of this miracle, I think we have to puppet him over there. <laughs> oh. Okay. 
I begin lifting one of its legs. Kira and Gregor begin to navigate the golem through the hallway. I was not expecting to have to carry so many things at the start of this. You gonna be good going down this hall, Marcus? Yeah, well, as long as I have a wall to brace myself against, it's uh, not terrible. The pain has completely died down. Now it just feels a little funny. You still can't support your weight, but it might be making you less cranky now. <laughs> okay, now, uh, you wanna, you wanna do the honors? Um, Golem? Who? Kira, Kira looks at Gregor. Oh, yeah, uh, Golem, get, get the key. Get it. Splash! Oh, <laughs> everyone looks around. They retreat into this small corridor. You peer down the hallway. You believe you hear something move in the distance. Everyone hide. Why you ran closer to the doorway? It's all about seeing around corners. Uh huh. I hunker down, keep my sword drawn. So, Gregor, how you doing there, Golem? I, I, I'm not seeing any air bubbles. Shh, Gregor, not now. I um waggle my fingers a little bit. Eh, maybe this isn't so bad after all. A little bit of excitement, adventure. Marcus, Marcus, you can oh you can revel in this once we get to a better place. Oh, come on, Ash. You can't tell me that you aren't at least a little bit excited. I'm a little bit excited. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. But I'm also terrified out of my mind. It's really scary in here. <laughs> the creature has been shuffling objects into Kier's hands, which he quickly burns himself on and drops. The creature returns, returns to the acid. You believe you hear something moving in the hallway. The golem finally produces a glowing, brilliant key. Kieran Gregor's eyes widen, and then reaches up as if asking for a hand. Kier looks at Gregor and then immediately begins stomping on the golem, getting it back into the uh, acid. I wave my hands wildly. No, no, no. It's fine. It's not alive. It's fine. Everything's fine. Is it? Was the golem like asking for a hand out of the acid vat? Yes. I fucking help it. It loves the acid. That's what it's made for. Obviously. I grab I grab its hands and assist it out of the van. <laughs> you grab the golem and pull it out. Clang! Kier places his head in his hands. <laughs> Alright, use those new legs to run. You quickly, uh, <laughs> Kier motions down the hallway and begins to sprint. <laughs> I, I, I hop over. I run oh, back I, and I gra- scoop I grab, off, I scoop I grab, off Marcus. <laughs> I'm piggybacking Marcus right now. <laughs> <laughs> You begin to run down the hallway. You hear a howl behind you. Shit. Uh, my poor golem. He'll be fine. It's fine. Uh, it's just a golem. You t- run the corner. You believe down the hallway. You see something. Darkness pours down the hallway, accompanying the howl. Run. However, it seemingly stops with the light of Gregor's lantern. The darkness is repelled. Miasma seemingly eats away at the barrier. Uh, Kier stares at Gregor, his eyes widen. He motions in the door. Oh yeah, I forgot. What are you guys waiting for? Come on. I got the thing. Guys, 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 guys. Barricade, 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 barricade. No, this way. We need to put multiple rooms between it and us. I kind of shimmy under this table and, un- and open the door. <laughs> what? I couldn't have- so small. He's so thin. <laughs> Probably gonna get stuck. Oh my god! Kier slams through the table. <laughs> uh, I, I, f- I follow through the Kier hole. Yeah. <laughs> the darkness continues to approach. Guys, guys, where was the? Let's go back. Come on, come on, go, come go, on, go, go. go. Shh. <sighs> I burst into the room, careful not to step on the circle. I burst into the room and accidentally step on the circle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> Oh, oh, these things. <laughs> oh. Kier hits the hallway, whirling around. I, I check for uh, I check behind us for Gregor. It's cool. I'm here. Who's got the keys? Who has all the keys? Uh, I, Marcus does. I've got. I hold out a sheaf of keys. I, I kind of plant Marcus in front of the door. Keys, 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 keys. Go, 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 go. I like, just, I 
I have them in my hands and I kind of jam them up against the door. I don't. <laughs> I assist in the jamming. Every, here, here grabs the key. There are keyholes. Everyone grabs the key. the key, jams it in the door, and turns it simultaneously. <laughs> oh, I wish we had. I could appreciate the teamwork fully. Oh. <laughs> You hit a flight of stairs leading upwards. There is no doubt that the creature is on your heels. Go. Run! Run! Keep going. Run. Oh, here, I've got to say, that polypurpose panacea is some really... Mmm, intriguing... Mmm, wow. My ankles never felt better. Kira continually scoops you up in one giant arm whenever you stumble. <laughs> Where do we go? Which way do we go? Looking further down, you see a gate. Down this way? I don't know. Cartographer! Here. I, I, I take a look to my left and my right. I think I see... It's like that room with the- it's that room with the guy! Go, 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 go! Somebody go to the right! <laughs> Bump into each other comically. I run to the right. I've already run to the left. Here? Brother! Yeah, yeah, yeah! It doesn't seem to like your light, so, uh... <laughs> so I'm safe, right? Yeah, you're completely safe. I skid headfirst into this magic circle. I watch Marcus from across the way. I wave. Okay. Eyes wide. I take a deep breath and attempt to steady my racing heart and... Close my eyes and step into the circle. I... Guys? Hey, monster. Don't attack them. Come towards me. But preferably none of us. You step in the magic circle. The light on the gate flickers and goes out. Darkness floods and engulfs both of you. Ash, you feel something incredibly close to you in the darkness. Nails grinding against stone. the ground and leap towards where I last saw the, uh, the crew. I see the disaster going on and run over. Does it look like she's gonna make it? No. <laughs> There's only one choice. It's a long drop. I crouch down low and then launch myself, <laughs> attempting to catch Ash and carry her back to the platform. <laughs> Natural 20. What? Gregor, there's a monster! You slam into the platform, tucking ash beneath you. The lantern of the shrouds lighting up in a brilliant starburst. For a moment, you see it. <laughs> the creature whirls, howling, vanishing back into the darkness. I just look at ash. I look at Gregor. My sword is drawn, and I'm in a battle stance. I am also holding you sideways. Hey, Marcus! Yep. You feel like jumping? Uh, not really. Go, 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 go. We've got to go get Marcus. We've got to go get Marcus. It's going for Marcus. I chased after plenty of monsters. It's no problem. Kill them all the time. We have to get to Marcus quick. So as... So this is like a gap I can jump across? Um... <laughs> <laughs> so this is like a gap. <laughs> that it would potentially be possible to jump across for a character. <laughs> yes. Okay, well... Hmm. Here, my my ankle is still a little bit screwed up, but I think I just think I might be able to make it. The creature rounds the corner, approaching. Yep, can definitely make it. I run forward as fast as I can, doing my best to ignore my wonky ankle and leap into the air. Oh no! I rolled a four. I cast gust of wind. <laughs> you begin to turn end over end, spinning through the air. <laughs> Kurt takes a step forward, falling into nothing, trying to grab you. For a moment, his cloak flutters and he flips backwards along with you. Okay, okay, that was incredibly close. Thank you, Kier. Uh, I didn't know you could fly. <laughs> uh, only occasionally, and only when it really counts. Now then, shall we proceed? Wait, something's amiss. What happened to the other two? Uh, Gregor can fly too, turns out. Really? Now that I would love to see. Oh, Marcus! You're back already! How did you make it across? Who cares? I see that you didn't make the jump. Fuck off! <laughs> Cure chalks alongside Ash. You didn't make it either, if it, if it makes you feel any better. It does. I pick Marcus up, heft him over my shoulder, and start running. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Gregor, when we get out of this, I'm going to need to perform some experiments. If I can harness whatever you are, I believe humans can achieve flight. Sure, that's great. No problem. 
you sprint into the welcome sunlight. My eyes! <laughs> oh. I love it!